interesting play to knock him in the loser's now. bracket. If you're going to head out of here, I'd ask that you please exit in. Chris Lee on the mic has been helping out with the Evo Tournament Series forever and himself is a very strong Super Turbo Honda player. Yep. I hate him too. I know you do. <laughs> it's funny because when you complain about Cammy in this game, it's totally true. Yeah, I know. It's actually legitimate this time. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, so Chris Lee from Virginia plays against Mike Creepy, the other Cammy in the world. That's right. Uh, in, the in, States, the, in the States. In the States. Chris Liam has played Mike Creepy so much. He is the reason why I honestly believe Honda versus Cammy is a 10 0 matchup because Chris Lee knows that matchup so well. I have visited Chris Lee. He has a super turbo cabinet in his basement. Yep. And I've been I there. have played Cammy versus his Honda, and I will lose 50 matches in a row, like near perfect every single round. Like, I don't even win a round. It's just like dead, 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 dead. Because he's had so much experience versus Cammy. All right, they're gonna switch sides. It looks like no, no. Kusumundo was on the the left last time. Let's get this Super Turbo Tournament of Legends Grand Finals coming up here at Evo 2012. It's a rematch of winners finals. Uh, it's gonna be Mao playing the Claw Balrog, aka Vega, against Kusumundo with E Honda. Kusumondo did it before. Can he do it again? He needs to win the first set only and then he's good. He's taking the whole thing. Mao has to win two sets. And I believe these sets are still three out of five as well. This is not four out of seven. Now Honda has to get back the life lead here. And I was saying this before, but I really think this is about who gets the, the life lead first. It forces the opponent to play very differently. Honda would prefer to be playing defensively here and playing Fortress of Gotching Honda. Whoa, what the heck? Nice with the Ocho throw. Oh, oh he walked, walked up, up to the throw. Yeah, yeah, we saw that before. Uh, so I, as I was saying, having the life lead is huge here because Vega can turtle pretty well against, against Honda. Honda can turtle pretty well against Vega. And so it's really about who gets the hit first, who gets to set up what they want to do. Here is Mao now with complete control. We should also point out how important it is that Kusumundo, I'm sorry, that Mao, whenever he goes off the wall, tries to go off the opposite wall because he's trying to make Honda lose his headbutt charge. Right. That's such a key. Otherwise, Honda could just headbutt away. Jump and strong. Safe. Now that Honda has the left, <laughs> it's not going to be easy. Oh, did you see that? Mao said, time to throw, and then Kusumundo got away. Oh, this is a bad look. Oh, great. He's the super again. He's just going to try to chip him! Almost got him! It takes five button presses of an individual uh, punch button to get hands in this game. We have no pianoing, no... No piano. And the time in which you have to do Fierce is almost none. Yeah, he's going to take those slides all day now. There was no time he knew if he had to take three slides, he would still have one. Both Very interesting neutral game. Uh, it's it's one of those weird situations where neither player has a huge incentive to go after the other at the start. Oh! Doesn't set up super, just goes for the throw and immediately walks back to a much more comfortable range. Yeah. Oh, why did he jump there? Oh, why no. is he attacking? I don't know! Nice. Sets out safe jab roll. Again, if Kusumano had done a reversal, would have traded. He would have lost. Mao takes the first game. And of course, Kusumundo is going to stick with Honda. Never going to leave Honda. And everybody knows that the real name of the, of the word is Oicho, not Ochio. I mean, we all know that. Right, right, right. But whatever. It's Ochio, dude. You know, I actually prefer calling it Oicho, but I've just heard Ochio so many yeah. times now. But I, I can't help but call it that myself yeah. now. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Man grab, who cares? Honda trying to approach. One of the benefits of new Honda is that approaching hands. Nice reactions. Oh! He knows what Mao is capable of, that reversal throw, but you cannot reverse the throw, obviously. The butt slam in midair, medium kick butt slam, will blow that up. Oh, nice. 
hope there. Canceling that low poke into a backflip, making it safe. Nice stand jab. Oh, he's gonna get, okay. He's okay with getting slid into the corner though right. because no more cross up potential. And now he's trying to chase him down. No, nope. I, like, I like that. That's a great variation by Mao. Kusumondo has been sticking with that jump strong, which is one of Honda's responses. Other things like stand fierce or butt slam uh, are different ways that you can go about it. And he has to, Mao has to be mixing things up a little bit better. Oh, nice baited him. He thought he was going to keep the hands up good. And like I said, after a fierce Ocho, you get <laughs> that free dizzy if you hit him with a headbutt, hand slap. Look, I love Mao's reactions. He's so into it. Every time he loses, it's just like, it's like his puppy got thrown off a bridge or something like that. Nice. Oh, and there's nice. another one of those options. Yeah, again, he knows Mao wants to be doing that reversal wake up throw. Oh, here we go. And Mao, I think, was, yeah, Mao, Mao was worried that he was going to get butt slammed again in the mix up on whether to do wake up throw and just sat there. Kusumundo now tying it up 1 1. Of course, and once again, this is 3 out of 5. Kusumundo only needs to win one set as he is in. He's, he made it out in winner's bracket. Mao needs to win two sets of three out of five to take this. Nice, nice. response. We're going to be caught on Cami's level until somebody plays Cami. That's how the game works. <laughs> yep. Like we said, there's no tournament mode. It's just arcade. And so it's going to be on this until Cami gets played. She's not going to get played. So welcome to Cami stage. England. Until oh, the do you see that whip? Whoa! Get to the other side. He was just barely not in the corner as how. And you know what? Those are some beautiful northern lights in the background anyway. So, you know, they're fighting on this nice little bridge here. No one's falling off. It's all good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's three out of five. It, it is three out of five. And look at that. With a perfect, Mao takes round two. Oh, nice bait with that jab headbutt. He didn't get the punish on there, but I love the idea. I like that one time Kusumundo jumped back with the splash instead of the chop because it hit behind him as right. well. Right. Oh, oh early stab caught him before he got into the air. And now, oh yes. no, this is bad. Oh, he almost walked up and Ocho'd him again. Still a chance. Oh, really? Surprise slide. And now Mao up 2-1. If he wins this next game, he resets the bracket. So the whole audience is going yo crazy. Let's go Kusumondo. Like clerical error will take care of that. Nice, I oh, love the wow. Two shorts. low shorts. All he needs to do is hit him one time. Oh, he's gonna go for the super, and that is gonna take the round. How about that? Wow. Dude, the audience will not stop the uh, the the hero ball sound. Let's so go! Good. Let's go! So good! Oh man! Ooh, hand slap from nowhere. He's just jumping back to prevent him from go doing the uh, wall dive. It's all he's worried about right now. Oh, nice reaction from Mao. Did you hear the whole audience gasp? Jab, jab, roll. This point becomes dangerous. Oh, oh, what a beat! What a beat! What a beat! It worked before, it worked again. Last time he didn't get the punish, this time he does. Kuzumono just said, psych. <laughs> you can see sometimes even the very, very best Honda players won't quite get the hands immediately. 
There it is. That was supposed to be Fierce Hands. Yeah, Fierce Hands is hard. Super hard. Nice counter. He's been so good on those reactions. Yeah, he was doing that all day to Womar earlier. Every time he went up with butt standing, he did neutral jump strong and just stopped him every time. Okay. Oh, just sets that jab. There's that trade I was talking about with that Sand Fierce. Oh, nice jump boy. Oh, he didn't get hands. Oh, what the heck? We had a TZW combo over here about to happen right there. Oh, he gets a little strong with a heads up. Did it go? Oh! Wow. Wow. Mao. He sets it. Mao has reset it. Now the Japanese ST juice box with the glow yeah, I was and, about with, to say the same and thing. with the reactions and with the passion and intensity. The glasses and everything. I was everything. about to say the exact same thing. That is so funny to me. I the same thought crossed my mind dude, right there. Give me a high five, dude. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. All right, Kusumundo just taking a little break. And like I said, this got reset just now. Yes. All right, let's go. It's 2.08 in the morning here. We have been up since 8 a.m. I've never been more excited to be a commentator than I am right now. It's the oh, best. Man. You know, every year I've always been in the ballroom as early as possible. I'm sleeping in a little bit tomorrow. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Not going to lie. Kusumundo now has to get in. Now with the prerogative, with the life advantage, gets to set the tone of how this match is played. Here we go. Okay, get it the correct direction. Nice, that, that jump back again. I was mentioning that earlier. Very strong. And again, he's yeah, he's taking excellent advantage of his life advantage. It forces Kusumondo into making poor strategic decisions. And there are no. some situations, situations in this game where the only good answer is to try and travel. Mao right now, he seems to have the, the momentum. He's just nice. doing great reads. He's almost playing on a psychic level now. Amazing play. You said earlier, people had told you that they, that they think that Mao is the best ST player in Japan. I can believe it right now. All right, nice. here we go, Kuzmundo. He's going to go for a tick nice. He flip. didn't get fierce hands. He got crouching fierce. And he chased him down, and he's going to chip him with the hand slap. I think Mao, I, yeah, I wonder what Mao wanted there. He might have been able to do flip kick, might have been able to do reversal throw. Neither one. Kusumondo takes the round via chip. Winning this first game in the final set would be huge for either player. Look at this life advantage that Mao has. It's kind of interesting when he was fighting against Walmart, he was totally willing to sit there, but apparently something about Kusumundo makes him a lot more uneasy. Oh, oh, you know, Kusumondo knew that that was coming out. Oh, that's strong hit from behind that walk up throw. Gives Kusumondo one to zero. Look at Kusumondo on the left. His hat almost fell off there. He, he bounded out of his seat when he got that game. <laughs> Mao taking life advantage at the start. That's actually been the theme pretty commonly. Honda has had to make comebacks. I said before, I think that, that uh, Claude does very well in this match. We've oh, seen why, <laughs> great block. If he did not block that, that would have been a dizzy. Nice. That's also the thing too, that if you notice about ST compared to modern day fighting games, you notice how everything is so safe. Headbutts, rolls, everything. It's so great. Nice, can you keep it up? Can oh, you keep it up again? Go. Oh, no reversal Ocho. We've seen him do that so many times. Not that time and Mao gets the throw. You're right about how safe things are. I, I, uh, I've always said that I think that that's a mechanic that was introduced by Street Fighter 3. And, and made very, very huge in that game. It's not in this game that big of a deal for the most part. Right. Now we have Kusumondo in the corner, getting chipped a little bit. Now walking up just a little bit. Just an expectation of that exactly that before he had the jump back fierce. Not there. Very even on life. 
Check out the timer. We play on fast mode. That thing's going down. Someone low down on life just a tiny bit, but enough that the onus is on him to attack. He's got to do gotta something. He's got to get in. Oh, you know what? He's trying to bait the head back there. That's why he's So much ship. He needs to do a little bit more. Not enough. Oh, God, he got rid of it. Oh, not enough. And now takes game two. We're tied 1-1. to one 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 to one in the grand finals in the final set in the super turbo tournament of legends here at evo 2012 it's mao from japan kusumondo also from japan two absolute masters playing at the peak of their game right now wow Could not ask for a closer match right now between these two players oh wow just a miss and into a throw wow i like that low short and a hand yes. slap Get some good chip damage. The amount of chip you can get off of that. Oh no! They're dead. No, luckily for Kusumondo, that was not the max of the uh, of the damage. Like I said, a little bit random. A little randomized. Watch out for that jab roll. Yeah, jab is, is a huge is a huge problem right now. Oh! He just kept it going. He kept the hand slap going. Mo tried to stab him after the hand slap, and he just stabbed right into the hand slap. Amazing. Oh, he tried to have that little constitutional, but no. Not this time. Nice. He faked the headbutt, the, uh, the hands there. Oh. Oh, what? Close stand strong anti-air course. Why wouldn't we ever think of using close stand strong? Are you As serious? An anti Kusumundo now at, at tournament game. How am I going to have been playing this character at a high tournament level for the last 10 years of my life and never seen that? Maybe you haven't been playing Maybe I've high. been asked this whole time. <laughs> Maybe I have been asked. <laughs> Certainly compared to Kusumundo, there's no doubt that's the case. Yep. Oh, wow, look at those stand jabs. Oh, wow, and again, that stand strong. No, did he just find something out? Maybe, yeah, I know, right? Maybe he just learned himself. Okay, he, oh, he just hey. missed the step. He just missed the step. And Kusumundo now at match, at tournament point. Kusumundo can win it all right now. Here comes Kusumundo. Oh, here, here comes Mao trying to take the advantage at the start. He does do so, and now he forces Kusumundo to come in. That's Look exactly that what Kusumundo shit. does. Oh, what a and great he's getting trip. close to evening things. Did you see that meaty headbutt there? That was so meaty. Yeah, it keeps him closer. Very, very tense situation right now. Oh. He got it just at the right time, too. Oh, and he blocked that jump attack. So close. Kusumondo can take the tournament right here. Oh! oh my God, he went for the sky high claw. It didn't quite work. Mao expected his opponent to be in the air there. There oh, is the what a for Mao. He read that hand slap. And you see Ma Mao there pumping his fist. Still very tense. You can feel it in the room. It was so loud before and now so quiet. And Mao needs to win this one to stay in. There's that neutral jump strong I was talking about that he used against Walmart all day. Walks up. Oh, and then moves backwards to a better position. There's that jump back fierce. So good. Kusumanda slowly approaching. Hands, headbutt on the way in. Nice jump, jump strong. strong. Oh, try to get the low jab in the Ocho. Oh, oh, okay. It's going to be oh, another Super game. Mao. Mao is not done yet. Super Mao takes that one. And look at him. He's ready. He's like, one more, one more. And he pumps his fist when he realizes he's one game away from taking Tournament of Legends. Traveling all the way from Japan pretty much just for this tournament these two players have. And they want to win this. They are Jazz to win this. They are so excited to win this. Oh, are they going to try to kill Cammy? Oh, no, okay. I thought nope. they were going to kill him. Just to move them at the, uh, the stage. <laughs> ah, you see it happen sometimes. It's weird. You know, the, the game has stages that are more commonly seen uh, in tournament play because there are set up in the arcade mode preferences for the first characters to fight against. <laughs> oh, no, this Cammy. No this one, is it. And no one really uses it. So, so fitting, we are down to the very final game in the Tournament of Legends between a Honda and a, and, a, and a Claw player, two of the best 
in the world of all time. Oh! He's going to go for easy stuff. Yes, I nice, love it. Nice. Pay to get out. And now, Kusumendo once again at tournament point. Look at how Mao is taking that. He's throwing his hands in the air to be down again. Kusumondo in there. He has the corner dealing a ton of damage from Chip. Oh, wow. Gotta watch out for nice Stunda. Nice early stab again. Oh, wow. He just goes right back in the air to get away. So fast. Kusumondo down on life. But how many times has he made this comeback? It should not be easy for Honda to make a comeback on a, on a claw. Oh, there's a wake up! Let's see, what do we do? Oh, no, no. Great wake up, reversal throw. I, I love it because it, it was not what Kusumondo went to this, last time. This time, Mao guesses right. He tried the same thing both times. This time, it works out. Oh, he's got a point. Here goes out to the final round. Oh, Let's go. Everybody get up. Let's go. ST. Super Turbo, baby. Oh, no. And now look at this mountain that Kusumundo has to climb. Oh, two hits. If he got another hit, he would have got him dizzy, but... Oh. Uh, my, my stomach has never been in my throat like this. Oh, you missed it. Oh! And now is your tournament of Legends champion here at Evolution 2012. And look at the crestfallen reaction from his head is still on the table you can't see him right now but he's on his head is still on the table he has not gotten up finally there he is he wanted to win that for honda fans around the world so badly he was in winner's bracket and it looked at times like he was gonna take the tournament but mao played so well wow and look at that and there's dvg dgb giving him a special banner Probably a custom-made banner. DGV is known for making those. And congratulations to Mao, to Juice Bar.